ago. There was a little girl, and her name was Susie. Anybody in here named Susie? Yeah. Your name's not Susie. Okay. Susie was not a very nice little girl. As a matter of fact, she was always being mean to her brother. She was always playing tricks on him. Always doing all kinds of things to make him cry. So she liked for him to cry. And her mother was always getting mad at her and telling her not to do that. She didn't listen. She was always being her really mean. Well, one day, she was being particularly mean to her brother, and her brother said, somebody's going to get you one of these days. Susie, somebody's going to get you one of these days. And Susie just laughed and pinched him around. Well, later on that night, it got real dark and everybody was asleep. Susie woke up. She decided she was going to play another trick on her room. So she snuck out of her room real quiet like Snuck over to his room. She opened the door real softly. See, her brother had this favorite little teddy bear about this big that he loved to sleep with. In fact, if he didn't have that teddy bear, he would cry all day long. So Susie said, I'm going to take his teddy bear and I'm going to hide him. And he's going to cry all day long tomorrow. And I'm going to be so She snuck in there real careful like she did. Pulled it out because he always stepped like right this. Pulled that bear out. Started back in her room where she was going to hide. When she got about halfway across the room, she heard this voice, real quiet little voice. And it said, Susie, come here. Well, she looked around, and there was nobody there. She started to walk a little bit more to the room, and she heard, Susie, come here. And she looked again, nobody was there. But then when she was looking, she heard the voice again, Susie. And she looked over in the corner of the room, all the way on the other side of the room, and she could hear the voice coming from the corner. But she looked and looked and looked and she couldn't see anything. She walked a little closer. She got close enough that she could see in that corner there was a little spider web right down at the very bottom of the corner. In the middle of that spider web was a little big black spider. Well, Susie looked at that spider and sure enough she heard that spider talk. Step closer. She took a step closer. The most amazing thing happened. That spider web got there. That spider got there. She took another step closer. That spider got there. And the spider web got there. And the spider just kept calling. Susie, come here. She took another step. And every time she took a step, the spider web got there. And that spider got there. She got almost to the corner and that spider web was tall, taller than her. And that spider was about this big around. And then she took another step and she was right up at the bottom of the spider web. And the spider looked down at her. Come here! And he took his web and threw it down and wrapped it around her neck. Pulled her up into that spider web and threw her up against it. And you know how it happens on the spider webs. She just stuck right to that thing. She couldn't move. And she was screaming and hollering and yelling as loud as she could, but nobody in the house heard her. It was like nobody was home. That spider just crept right down next to her and started taking the web and putting it out and wrapping it around. Hey, wrapping it around. Wrapped her arms, legs, her body. Just the top of her head was sticking out. And then that spider he reached down and he wrapped the toes around the top part of her hair and yanked the hole right in the middle of her head. And he took and stuck his little old sucker down in there and sucked her brain right out. Sucked her eyeball out too. Sucked all her insides out. There was nothing left. Just hollow body. And then that spider started to gnaw. Gnawed on the fingers and the hand. You know, the next morning, we got up. Her 
brother got up and he got out of the bed and teddy bear was gone. Well, the first thing he thought of was what? Susie had come in and stole the table. So she ran out the door and he headed toward her, her room. He got halfway across and he had really good eyes. He could see really good. And he stopped in the middle of the room and he looked over. And there was the corner. He saw Susie. He called her his mother. Mom, Mom, come here, quick. His mother came. She said, what's the matter? He said, look at this over in the corner. He walked over to the corner. There in the corner, a little bitty spot. A little bitty spot. And right in the middle of that spot in there was a little bitty skip. And you know, they never did find the sea. And you know what the moral of the story is? Don't be mean to your brother and stay away. Bye.